Hey guys, Scott here, Pine Baron Craftsman, Project Double Tuck. We got um, good progress here. Uh, what any issues have I run into? Uh, let's see. Um, so number one, the wires are tucked. Vacuum line was extended for the charcoal canister. Um, or vent line, I should say. Um, these wires still have to get extended. This is my power to the ballast resistor. And then this is my tack. Um, here is my coil wire. Now, these have to be extended. If I want to run the coil pack over here, if you look under here, I got the, the box mounted with the ballast resistor. And the fan relay it needs to be tightened up, cleaned up. I did um, three bolts here, because one was hard to get to. I might do an extra bolt there um, for the four mount of that, but it's pretty solid. Canister, I probably can get rid of it. I'm kind of holding on to it, I don't know why, but it's there. Um, so back to the coil. The coil wire, right, I have to extend it, because I want to put it over there behind the engine. There's no reason to have a super long uh, coil wire. This is the wire that feeds the coil on the point on the distributor, in the center of the distributor. And I had it mounted over here before with just a spark plug wire and I put one of these ends on it for the wacky style coil pack. Like it's like one of these old style ones. Um, I just ran it into the body ground just for now to see how it would look. I want it to be lower because when I put the wire in, it's going to be up high. So I'm trying to see about where I could get it back here where it'll look decent. It won't be all bound up with the dipstick for the um, transmission. I'm thinking in this area, but it's going to be hard to get the, the drill back in there without taking the distributor out. So I'm trying to do this as easy as possible. Um, yeah, I mean, but for what the purpose was... Just to neaten up the motor compartment and get this crazy long coil wire out of here because that was bothering me. Just more area for it to maybe arc, lose spark. I have another MSD box. This is a 6AL part number 6420 multi-spark discharge. It's a bigger unit. It has a 6,000 stall converter. No, I'm sorry. 6,000 red line stall converter. Um, that'd be a crazy stall converter <laughs> um, on the uh, transmission. So that that's pretty much what we're looking at. This is going to go back over here. And um, that's about it. I mean, it's not a very large change, but it's a step in the right direction. Uh, also, you guys are probably yelling at me. I'm not talking about it. But I did disconnect the washer fluid container you guys are screaming this guy all right still got a little juice in it maybe a mouse or something floating in there it was right here it was right there and i'm not using it it doesn't cross my mind to use it the hoses were all dry rotted and kinked the bottle itself is cracked probably going to leak if I fill it up with full full of fluid so it's it's a deletion down the road if I want to put a clean one in like maybe like a little chrome canister tuck it up tighter that's fine uh, you know it's just these old plastic um, containers you know aesthetically you're trying to make it look pretty in here that truck has one I'll show you where it is and you don't even notice it because it's in a perfect spot it's up there so most people get in the engine compartment and they look in there oh yeah it's nice you know but you're not really noticing that what the heck is this container down here see it's kind of even hard to see with the cell phone i'm kind of pointing it down in there so that's the idea those wires are in a loom with the factory tab holders look you just snap them in LMC Fender had the uh, factory plastic hole points 
So that keeps that neat. That one the same was over there. So, and everything's black. I think that's what we're going to do here. Let me know what you think. If you don't like it, if you like it, if, if you think that there's a better spot for the coil. I know that there's a mount that you can purchase that goes down on the intake manifold down there on those two bolts, holes. Um, and then you could maybe stand up the coil in this vicinity, you know, next to it. And I'm looking to that too, but I don't want to buy anything. I've capped out my budget. So I've gotten every Christmas, birthday, anniversary gift already uh, for the next three years. So I'm done. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening. Let me know what you think. Uh, the engines upstairs are still getting worked on. I uh, proved out that one of the uh, engines, the LS engine, is an 862 head, which is not like a crazy rare or super powerful head. I think it's just a standard truck head for a pickup truck for the LS motor that I got. And um, the 350 small block out of the late 70s truck is looking like it's in good shape. I got some, I got some dress-up parts here that I found in my stash. Got some chrome for the dome. All right, talk to you later. Hey, remember this tool? This is cool. You guys ever see one of those? Comment if you know what this is. All right, see you. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know how you feel. See you.